all right i promised i would make this video uh how to disassemble and reassemble a singer uh, <laughs> bobbin winder um this is uh the bobbin winder off of a red eye that i had in the vapor rust and uh you can see get red eye decals on it this is basically uh the same bobbin winder on a 99 uh it's probably the same barb and winder on some other singers i don't know um got a few of them around here but i don't pay a lot of attention to them other than just wipe them off take them apart clean them up put them back together and i'm done with them they go on a shelf to look at um but anyway um so these things are a jigsaw puzzle once you take one of them apart and the only way to clean them good is to take them apart i think i'm gonna do i'm gonna pop that tire off there you don't need that yeah. <laughs> Okay, next thing I'm going to do is a piece of electrical tape. I'm going to put right here. I am going to touch the back side of it there a little bit to keep it from sticking to these decals. And uh, the reason we're going to take put that on there is because if you've got a really nice machine with nice paint, you don't want to scratch the paint. What we're going to do here will scratch the paint off. I guarantee it will. Um... Next thing I want to tell you is this camera is reversing everything. These are not left hand threads, but what you're going to see is everything turning left hand and right. It's going to be looking like I'm unscrewing when I'm screwing. Um, first thing we're going to do is take this screw right here out. And I'm going to try to do this without making a lot of shadows of this light. This thing is going to fly apart. I don't care as long as we keep everything together. And all right yeah it didn't all right spring number one right there that spring has got the wire up both sides of it it can go in either way doesn't matter just throw it down there out of the way get it out of the way next thing we're going to do is pop that screw out by the way i've got all these screws loose already can't speed this video up a little bit um sitting here talking not paying attention i should have been holding that because i just pop you'll also if you don't catch that you'll scratch the paint right here right there <laughs> okay but i already let it fly up and here's what i was talking about on scratching the paint up here this piece is going to hit right there once you take that latch off there what we're going to do is we're going to take this screw out now this is when everything goes crazy. All right. I'm going to lay this out of the way a minute. Lay this out of the way a minute. Spring number two. That's the big hoss right there that will fly and you will lose the spring. This one has enough pressure out that it uh, it can fly 20, 30 feet being careful. <laughs> or pop you in the eye. Go ahead and take that shoulder screw out right there. Get it out of the way. All right. We got one more here. This is going to be spring number three. This is kind of hard with it not facing me. I'm having to do everything in reverse. Um... There's the bracket, little, another little shoulder screw, spring number three, same thing as the other one, except they're a little bit different in size, I'm trying to get a hold of it, we're going to hold them up there together, what I'm trying to say is these springs will, will only go in one place, so you can't, you ain't got to worry about getting them mixed up, alright, that nut, take that nut off, right there this right here they call it a heart shape and all this other stuff it's actually a cam that's what this is another shoulder screw here if you notice this notice this screw you can see it's thicker on this side than it is on this side this is an eccentric i'll show you in a minute what that is right now we'll go ahead and just get that put back together Put that screw back in there. Doesn't matter how. Put that back in there. 
turn it until it pops down in there. All right. When I move that, that's moving back and forth. Hang on to this. All right. I'm sorry. I couldn't put the nut back on it here. All right. You don't want to tighten that nut up just yet, actually. All right. This is a worm right here. This gear meshes with that worm. When you move this eccentric screw, it moves that gear up and down into that. Moves that gear up and down, meshes in the, of that worm. What you want to do is turn that until it's up in there and there's not a lot of slop with the teeth. Um, and then you're going to tighten that nut up. If you run it with it too loose and not enough mesh there, it'll chew the ends of the teeth off uh, as this runs. If you run it too tight, it'll eat up everything and it'll run it. This, thankfully, is a sacrificial piece. Um, so the worm will eat up the gear and the gear won't eat up the worm. Not, not as bad. Okay. All right. Smallest spring. In, in there, there are three little holes that these wires go in. Any of them I've ever taken off has always gone, is always in the center hole. I don't know, you know, it's just if your spring gets weak, you move it over. If your spring's too tight, move it over. In the center hole, you're neutral. Ow. Get that in there. It's funny, the first video I had trouble with one of the springs, and now I'm having trouble with this spring in this video. Well, you little devil. Alright, there it went. All right, the spring is in there. There, right, you got a wire sticking out. This has got a hole in it. Put it in there. Don't matter where it's at right now. This this shoulder screw goes in there. You kind of swing that around. I hope I'm not getting in the way where I can't see. By the way, this is a little bit easier. I'm doing this the hard way, I guess. And this is a little easier to put this on without that on because you can let that swing around, but we got it. We're going to go ahead and start running this screw in. And no, we're not. The wire jump ship. Now it's back in there. All right. As you get down to close to being tight, you want to work that back and forth and make sure that nothing binds. Right all the way. Now, it's tight. When it's tight, you should be able to do that right there. I mean, you got it together right. If you don't, if you can't move that, take it back apart and do it over again. Uh, all right. The big spring. This one's fun. The uh, little walk. <laughs> The little wire there's a hole down right down in there it'll be kind of in line with the housing here but there's a little hole right in there wiggle that spring until you got it in there just like that okay i gotta turn this around where i can see just a minute okay This is the way these are going to go right now. This, this slotted hole, 
goes toward the, the cam and all that. Just going to hook that wire right there. Let's see if I can kind of show you what I'm doing here. Alright, you see the wire is right there. I'm going to put the screw in from the back side. Alright, so right there it is. That's together right now. If I turn that screw right now, that's going to fly off of there. But uh, what we're going to do is you need three hands. I ain't got three hands, but i got to roll electrical tape. That's all it takes is just something to set this on, just like that. Take this and turn it over. All right. I'm going to try to do this where you can see what I'm doing. You spin that around about like that. And it's trying to fly apart on me. We're not going to let it, maybe. All right. I'm going to have to get that down. I'll turn this around where you can see better, maybe. Cause... All right. That's all right. That it popped loose. That was the screw jumping. What we got. Keep wiggling this right here as you tighten this because it will bind up. Alright, and there it is. That's that. Alright, we're gonna put this screw right here back in. This is the friction adjustment for the tire to run against the hand wheel. Um that's what that this here is. Once you get it on the machine, you take and uh, hold on a minute. Let's get the rest of it together and I'll explain that real quick and we'll be done. Last spring, center hole. Just like that. Alright. The wire goes in that hole, which I cannot see because I'm letting you see it. There it is. Right. Nope, don't want to let it get down there like that. Bring it up here like that. Put the screw in there. <laughs> this is fun. When I can't get it to face me. Alright, I'm going to have to raise it up here just a little bit where I can see. And there it started. Alright, what you want to do, you don't want to force anything. But you want to keep wiggling that back and forth until that shoulder, shoulders on that shoulder screw goes through that hole. latch it then we can finish tightening this up all right and there we go we got that all right last but not least the screw right here once you got it on the machine put your bobbin tire on your winder tire put the tire against the hand wheel you move this down to where it's you got it pretty snug against a hand wheel but not tight you know uh, enough that it'll spin the bobbin winder when the hand wheel turns and of course then you would just tighten that screw up and that sets your depth on it make sure this is latched down though when you do that right now now you're up off of it okay lastly got to take the tape off see how much paint we destroyed All right. 
no decals. Good. All right, there it is. That was a complete bobbin winder. Disassembled and reassembled. Um, I hope that helps. Uh, one of the ones of you that are having trouble. Like I said, I know these are a jigsaw puzzle. So, uh, good luck. Have a good night.